Five Minutes Biscuit Stories by Alexa Santin Capacelli. Biscuit meets the class pet. Biscuit stood in his cozy bed and sniffed the air. There was a new scent in the house. What could it be? Biscuit hurried inside just as the little girl called to him. There was something new in the house, something he had never seen before. Here, Biscuit, said the little girl. Come and meet Nibbles. Woof, woof. Biscuit padded over to where the little girl was sitting. She was holding a small gray and white bunny in her arms. It was very fussy. This is Nibbles, said the little girl. He's our class pet. We must take very good care of him while he is visiting this weekend. My teacher gave me plenty of food for Nibbles. He needs lots of fresh water every day too. Woof woof. Biscuit sniffed at Nibbles' hunch. Then he sniffed at the little bunny. Biscuit always liked to make a new friend. Now Nibbles sniffed back at Biscuit. The little bunny wiggled his small pink nose. He wiggled his ears too. Then, with one big hop, Nibbles leapt from the little girl's arms. Nibbles is a very curious bunny," said the little girl. "I think he's ready to explore his new surroundings." Hop hop. Nibbles may have been a curious bunny, but Biscuit was a very curious puppy. He wanted to get to know Nibbles. He hoped the little bunny would want to play. Look, Biscuit! Called the little girl. Nibbles found your bone. Woof woof! Biscuit hurried over to the soft white ball of fur. He was happy to share his bone with Nibbles, but Nibbles wasn't interested in Biscuit's bone for long. In no time at all, Nibbles twitched his soft ears and hopped over to Biscuit's striped ball. Then he hopped right over to Biscuit's bed. Hop, hop, woof, woof. Now Biscuit climbed into his cozy bed. He gathered his favorite blanket in his mouth. Maybe Nibbles would like to play tug. That was Biscuit's favorite game. Silly puppy, I'm afraid bunnies don't play tug. The little girl said, laughing. She turned to Biscuit and said, "Stay here, Biscuit." At school, I learned that Nibbles enjoys a carrot and some lettuce every now and then. I'm going to get a snack for Nibbles. You can keep an eye on him. Woof woof. But just as the little girl left the room, Nibbles wiggled his nose and set out to explore some more. Hop hop. Woof. Nibbles moved so quickly. No matter how he tried, it was difficult for Biscuits to keep up with the little bunny. Biscuits followed closely behind until Nibbles hopped beneath the table. But in only moments, Nibbles scurried out and set off again. Woof woof. With one big hop, Nibbles disappeared from sight. Which way did he go? Biscuits looked all around the room, until at last he found a clue. There was a small fuzzy tail poking out from under the big green chair. Biscuits hurried over at once, but already Nibbles was nowhere to be found. Woof woof. Biscuits was certain he had seen Nibbles there just a moment ago. The puppies was busy sniffing under the chair when the little girls returned with a crunchy carrot for Nibbles. Oh no, Biscuit! Said the little girl. Where is Nibbles? We have to find him. We are supposed to take very good care of him while he is visiting. Woof woof! Biscuits wanted to take good care of the fuzzy bunny too. The search was on. First, the little girls and Biscuits checked under the table again, but Nibbles was not there. They looked on top of the big green chair and searched every corner of the room. Maybe Nibbles is hiding behind the pillow," said the little girl. But no, Nibbles was not there either. Oh, Biscuit," said the little girl with a sigh. "I didn't know babysitting a bunny could be so difficult." Woof. Biscuit lifted his nose into the air. He sniffed around and around. He sniffed at the ground too. 
then Biscuit began to run. Woof woof! Wait for me, Biscuit! Called the little girl as Biscuit ran to his cozy bed. Bunny puppy, said the little girl, it's not time to nap now. It's time to find nibbles. But Biscuit wasn't ready for a nap at all. Without making a sound, he climbed into his bed and lay his head on his paws. There was the small gray and white ball of fur they had been searching for. Gently, Biscuit touched his nose to nibbles his nose, nibbles wiggled his nose, he twitched his ears too. You may be the best bunny sitter in the world, Biscuit, said the little girl. Nibbles may have found your bone and your balls and your bed, but you found Nibbles! Woof woof! Biscuit gathers his favorite blanket in his mouth. Bunnies may not like to play tug, but he was happy to share all that he had with his new friend, Nibbles. I bet Nibbles will miss you when I bring him back to our classroom, Biscuit, said the little girl, laughing. But who knows, maybe one day you can come for a visit too. Woof woof. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you guys enjoy listening to the story of biscuits. Thank you.